Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Is the day going really well so far? Yes. yes. Okay, so as uh, Ms. Neal said, my name is Ms. Sharon, or it's Sharon Hill, really, but you can call me Ms. Sharon, and I'm from Learning for Life. <coughs> How many of you have, some of you do look familiar. Have I talked to any of you before? No? How about Mrs. P? No? Okay. Well, yes, a couple of you. Okay. Learning for Life is a, a program. We offer programming to students K through 12, and it's about building character or character education. When I say the word character, what comes to mind for you outside of the person in a play or a story or in a book? What is character? Character is like a person in a play or a book. Or what else? Other than a person in a play or a book. Story. What is character? How you describe someone. Okay, close. Good try. Traits like respectful, kind. Okay, those are character traits, being respectful, being kind. Positive habits and positive behaviors. How they act. How they act. Getting closer. Yes. Character. How people are. Perfect. Who you are. Who you are when nobody is looking. That's character. Sometimes we tend to mix it up and say it's it's how you act, or it's your personality, or the things you do that give people an impression of you. But who you are when the camera is not on, that is your character. It does, it's very strong, and it's not wavering. We're teaching you to have strong character. And the way you do that is by practicing over and over again good habits. Your character is who you are inside. Your character traits that help you to build good character, like the young lady said, is being kind, being courageous, being respectful, which is a character trait we're going to talk about today. Being honest, being a person of integrity, being compassionate, being empathetic or showing empathy, understanding the feeling of feelings of others. Just like when you go to a gym and you build your muscles so that you can be strong and healthy, and you come to school to learn to develop your thinking and reasoning skills to build your brain, the same thing with character. It just doesn't, poof, you're born and you have perfect character. It has to be developed, okay? And so, Mrs. Neal and uh, Ms. Hall and uh, Dr. Lee Master and myself and your parents and your older siblings, we're all here to help you by telling you or showing you what developing good character looks like. But how many of you know you cannot just depend on us. Where, where does it start? Where does it really, really start to build strong character? Where does it start? Um, uh, brain? Where does it start? It starts um, when you watch people and you learn how to walk and talk. OK. Good beginning. Where does it start? When your parents teach you. After they teach you, and we've all done everything we are supposed to do, then what happens? Then you start developing your own characteristics. There you go. You start, you make a decision to start to develop your character by changing those habits that are not good and developing good habits, good behavior patterns. That's how we build character. All right? So, today, as I said, we're going to talk about respect. And I have a definition for you, but when you hear the word respect, what comes to mind? Young lady in the green. Respect. 
Respect. Raise your hand only if you believe you have an answer. Respect. Being helpful and helping others. Helping others, okay. Respect. Being kind to someone. Being kind to someone. Respect. Um, following directions and being quiet when other people are talking. Okay, those are some great examples of being respectful. Being kind to others, that's another great example. But if you were to give me a definition of respect, not an example, not an example, but a definition, who here can do that? Tell me. To, to know what people are doing and not um, doing something while they're doing it. Okay, that's an example. One last try, go ahead. When you respect somebody, that means, let's say they like something that you don't like, but you respect that because respectfulness is a very important trait of your character. And that when you respect somebody, it's knowing that they like something else, but you go along with it. Go along or at least value that yes. person and what their opinion is. Whether you agree or disagree, there is value in everyone. All right, so let's read what the Lee County School District has to say about what respect is. It says, showing regard for the value of others, their opinions, practices, and culture through courteous consideration and <coughs> appreciation. Showing regard for the value of persons or things through courteous consideration and appreciation. And the quote is this, respect starts when you practice it, okay? Not when you ask for it. There's a lot of times we might say we want respect or we demand respect, but if Ms. Neal did not show you respect by being courteous always, I've come here many times and some classes are kind of like, hey, to the ceiling and back. And others are wonderful like you are. And she's always courteous, always kind. Her voice never goes past a certain decibel or height. She's loving and kind and she shows value and courtesy to every single student that comes in. So. She's, she's showing respect to all her students. And that is a great role model and a great example to follow if you want to learn how to develop that habit and learn to respect others. Do you agree? Yes, yes. yes sir. Absolutely. Yes, <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> all right, so let's talk about Ethnic heritage and respect. Welcome to module one, respect. There are three lessons in this module. You are going to explore the contribution Native American culture has made to our country. Learn to respect all people. Understand that everyone adds value to our culture. Be sure to read every screen and finish every activity. Click the next arrow to continue. Hello boys and girls. In this character development module, we're going to be looking at what it means to have respect for others and their cultures. We will focus on how our differences, called diversity, can make all of our lives better. America is a country that is home to people from many lands starting with the Native Americans, who were here when people from other countries arrived. Each culture has made a huge impact to American history. Today we will look at some of the contributions of cultures that have made America what it is today. This module will also teach you about Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. He is a great American hero who helped rid our country of laws that were not fair to people just because they were a certain race. His dream for a better world changed the way people think and the way that we treat each other. We'll also learn about people that are physically different from us. They might have an illness or disability that makes it hard for them to do the same things you do. 
Our goal today is to increase our understanding of and caring attitude towards various physical disabilities, especially those among older people, like our grandparents. By the end of this module, you will be aware of the contributions of many nationalities to American culture and history. You will also be able to look ahead with hope and understand that differences can be positive. Finally, you will have a greater appreciation for the various physical disabilities, especially those common among the elderly. Always remember that respect and consideration go a long way in understanding others and making friends. Absolutely. Welcome. Today you are going to explore the role of culture in American society. Learn that people communicate in many different ways. Understand that people of different ages, abilities, and nationalities make many contributions to our society. Okay, so we are going to value, learn about all these differences, and learn that a part of respect is valuing and appreciating the differences, the things that we might not understand. Okay, just because I was born in Jamaica and my household is of Jamaican heritage, it doesn't mean that I cannot respect Miss Neal, who is American, or her heritage is from London or Europe or England or Haiti or Mexico or France or Puerto Rico. Okay, we have to learn to value others. That is showing respect. Key words, ethnic heritage, tradition, culture. Ethnic heritage, noun, a person's racial, national, religious, or cultural background passed down to them from previous generations. Ethnic heritage. Noun, a person's racial, national, religious, or cultural background passed down to them from previous generations. Example, the school celebrates the ethnic heritage of all students. Which is an example of a person's ethnic heritage? Eye color, height, Hispanic. With eye color, if you agree, you can raise your hand and say thumbs up. Is eye color ethnic heritage? Try again. How about height? How about Hispanic? Absolutely. Tradition. Noun. A time-honored activity or set of activities handed down from generation to generation. Tradition, noun, a time-honored activity or set of activities handed down from generation to generation. Example, it is a tradition that we host Thanksgiving every year. Which of the following is an example of a family tradition? We have brown eye color. We have dinner at grandma's every Sunday. We are tall. Okay, how many say brown eye color is a tradition? How about we're tall? Is that a tradition? And what, those are physical appearances. Do we respect people just based on physical appearances? No. Absolutely not. A tradition, we have dinner at grandma's every Sunday. Is that a tradition? Mm -hmm. So for Thanksgiving, I love Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is coming up. What are some of your family traditions? I, I want to hear. <coughs> family traditions. Mm -hmm. What do you do for Thanksgiving? Me and my family after Thanksgiving dinner, um, we all move the table mm -hmm. and so we, um, we can dance um, to each other. All right, I like that tradition. We dance, we, we like to dance too. I, the last couple of years, you know what we've been doing? Um, the, the we dance, like everybody. Just dance? Yeah, just dance. 
We do that. We do all the different cultures. It's a lot of fun. Everybody does it. So another family tradition at Thanksgiving. What do you do? Say prayers. You say before we eat. You pray before you eat. Okay, so you're like, we do that too. I probably do a little bit of everything. And we we form, and sometimes it's like a lot of us, like 30 or 40 of us, mm -hmm. and everybody, we join hands, yeah. and then we yeah. have to say what we're grateful for, and then we pray, you know, because it's Thanksgiving. Another family tradition, what do you do? We go to my aunt's house, and we all stay at her house. Oh, it does your auntie have like a nice big house? Yeah, sort of. It's cozy. Yeah. It's warm. The family loves being there. Yeah. Can I come? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, family tradition. We all we always have my cousin Senna and William come over to our house because we don't get to see him often except for sometimes at summer. So that's a family tradition? We used to have them come over every summer, but today we didn't have to because um, we were end up in New Hampshire for our school. Okay, so family tradition Ooh. for Thanksgiving. <laughs> Let's see, what is your family tradition? What we do is, this happened on accident a couple of years ago. My dad was making cornbread muffins and we bought them to see how everybody liked them. And then it turned into a tradition, so now we make them with pumpkin pie. Oh, that sounds delicious. Can I come? <laughs> That sounds great. So we all have different traditions. You know, sometimes you can have a tradition going on for many years, and then someone will come along and go, okay, let's start our own tradition, like she, um, the young lady just uh, shared. So we can start traditions as well. <coughs> ideas and art of a particular group of people. Culture. Noun. The language, customs, ideas, and art of a particular group of people. Example. Respect for Mother Earth is an important part of Native American culture. Which of the following is not an example of culture? The Mona Lisa painting. Drumming circle, playing in a schoolyard. Not an example. Culture, noun. Oops, sorry about that. The language, customs, ideas, and art of a particular group of people. Example, respect for Mother Earth is an important part of Native American culture. Which of the following is not an example of culture? The Mona Lisa, the Mona Lisa painting. Yes. No? Drumming circle. Oh, oh, playing yeah. in a schoolyard. Playing in a schoolyard is not an example. Drumming circles are very um, an indication of which culture? Um, oh. Which cultures? Because there are a few. Mm. Where? What, what, what country? Jamaica. Or continent? Jamaica, yes. We do do a lot of drumming and music circles there because we are descendants of which continent? <gasps> Mexicans have drumming circles as well. Amazing drumming circles. What other ethnic group have drumming circles? Okay, answer to her question. Yes, Jamaicans are mostly descendants of, from the continent of Africa. We all know that Africa is not a country, right? Right. Okay, we know it's a continent, but how many countries? How many countries, how many? Um, 52. Very good, high five. Okay, I need to give you a sticker for that. Okay, so we, India has drumming circles, amazing drumming circles. Even um, the Chinese and the Japanese, they do awesome uh -huh. drumming circles, yeah. okay? So rhythms and drumming is not just African. There are other nations that embrace the rhythm of the beat. Yes? Yes. yes. And I love rhythms. So I study rhythms from all over the globe. 
Native Americans were once the only people living in this country. Their rich ethnic heritage can be seen throughout the United States of America. As you drive or walk around your town, you may wonder what effect Native American culture of long ago has had on our modern culture. They have amazing drumming circles as well. Yeah. Did you know that we use many Native American words in our everyday speech? Match each English word with the Native American word. Ooh, From the left column, Moose, squash, hammock, possum, pecan. In the right column, musu, hamaka, opossum, askuta, pecani. A lot of these are very, very close. So, as a possum looks like what? Oh, a rat. Awesome. And squash looks like what? Astuta. Astuta. Wow. And hammock looks like what? And yes, it does. Pecan looks like pecan. Pecan. Many Native American words used by the early settlers were names of places. In the United States, 26 states have Native American names. Match each state with the correct Native American name. Illinois, Arizona, Connecticut, Ohio, Wyoming. Wow, this is going to be no. a challenge no. here. Yeah. No? no? Okay, so I'm going to call you. If you know which one, you're going to come up and show me. Point to the shape that matches the state. Which one do you know? Come on, show us. Come this way. Well. Wait, we're not supposed to do that way. Oh, because of the wires. This one goes with Arizona. Which one? Say it again. This one goes with Arizona. This one? No. This one. The one above it. The one this one? Third one. Yeah. Arizona. No. 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 No, it no. goes down no. Illinois. Is that the one you're saying? That goes with yes. Illinois. Yes. No. No. Okay. No, That's for all. Okay. okay. Come, come. If you think you know, just line up right here so it stays fine. Oh, you think you know. Quietly, quietly, quietly. No, I know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh. Which one? Ohio goes. Very good. Take your seat. Next. Drag it if you if you know it. Uh huh. Where does it go? Very good. Which ones? <laughs> Awesome. Awesome. Good job. And I think that was all of them, so everyone can take this. Very good. Thank you. 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 Many of the cities in the United States have names which came from a Native American name. Seattle. Using your best word detective skills, match each city with its Native American name. From the left column, Seattle, Omaha, Chicago, Milwaukee. Okay, this looks pretty From the right column, Shigakam, Umanham. Nesquaki Nings, Siddle. Do you agree that this 
Chicago. Okay. And then this one. Oh, you can do that. Okay, they're pretty, pretty close. Many of the names of rivers and streams in the United States also come from Native American languages. Match the following rivers with their Native American origin. Mississippi, Missouri, Saskatchewan River. Okay, one, two, three. Yes. Awesome job. Wow. What a shot. Give examples of Native American words in your city, town, or school. Okay, raise your hand if you know of a Native American word. Blue t-shirt. Cafeteria. That's a Native American word? Uh, a, Native, a, a Native American word. We just said, uh, went through a Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, cafeteria. Seattle. Oh. Okay, do, do you remember? It's not Seattle, but Pecana. Pecana. And what is that? It's a pecan. It's what we call a pecan. Absolutely. Do we remember any others? Um, it was... Oh, I don't know. See something. Cito? Oh, yeah. You be sure if you're raising your hand. What do you remember? What is a Native American word? Do you remember? Seattle. I mean, you Seattle. Opossum. How do you remember how you spell it? O P E U. That was the American, but the Native American was A U A P. A P P. Mm -hmm. O. O. S. S. It's two S's. You're right. Okay, so it's very, very important. I'm so excited to see that you want to learn about other cultures, other traditions, other ethnic heritage, because that's where respect starts. Once you start to learn, then you start to be aware and you can appreciate and respect differences. Early Native Americans did not have a written language like we do today. They did not have 26 alphabet letters that formed the basis for all words in the English language. They painted pictures of events that happened on the walls of caves, on pottery, and even on animal skins. So it's a tiki. Oh, kidman. That's what I'm talking about. Click here to open up a legend to Native American pictograph symbols. Pictographs are symbols or drawings that have meanings much like words in English. Translate the following. Click here to open up a click here Oops, to open up a legend to Native American oh, here, the here. symbols. In the click here. Pictographs are symbols or drawings the here, in the... that have meanings. The here, the here. No, the the here. The the here. Translate the, the following here. story in the space below. Oh, this is going into a whole other thing. Do we have time? Yeah. Yeah. We have five minutes? I don't know. Okay, so this is very, very interesting. I don't think I've gone this far in depth with this lesson before, and I'm learning as you're learning too, which is exciting. But what I wanted to, to go over again and reiterate to you and emphasize to you is the importance of respect of yourself, respect of others, meaning that you're going to value others and value differences, 
okay? And it doesn't matter if you don't know or if you think you don't like or it's something different than what it is that you are used to in terms of a person or things that they might do or their behavior, the important thing is to become aware and then value that by appreciating that. And that is known as respect. That's a big part of respect. And we also talked about the fact that respect begins, we can teach you all day long, we could do all these exercises all day long, and all these activities and words and what have you, but where does it really begin? Where does it start? Where does it start? When we practice it. When we practice it. When we make a decision to practice it. So I'm going to wrap up and say to you, if you could tell me one takeaway for you today that we've um, touched on, one thing that gave you that aha moment that you're like, I need to change some things. I'm going to do this differently. Or I really like that we talked about ABC. What is that one thing? Um, the pictographs. Because like all of them are really different from each other, and they look really cool. Like, and I guess this one that, that had the squeak of the lines, it was a river. OK, so you really like the, the pictographs and what they represent and how they uh, communicate it. All the Egyptians used to do this. Too. And the G Egyptians yeah. used to do that. That is yeah. so, so sharp. What is the one thing? When we described about respect, mm -hmm. and we said it was kind, loving, and value, value of what other, like, you're going to stick with what others say even though that you don't like it. Right. You're going to value the opinions of others. Very good. What is your one takeaway? I like doing the, like, the state to the state name, mm -hmm. the Native American, but that is really important. I like to do Native American. I did too. This was definitely a learning experience for me as well. One thing. I like trying to figure out what the words meant, like the moose and the squash and mm -hmm. the other stuff. Like that was remember. neat. And you, and you learned some new words as well, right? Mm -hmm. the, one, the one thing for you, real quick. I learned on um, what all the symbols meant. Mm -hmm. And um, that there's, there's different words for each word. Different words for different symbols. Yeah. So what does that mean for you as far as respect? Um, it helps me learn it in case anybody can't talk and they can only help draw to talk. OK, so now they have a different way of communicating, but you're going to respect that and try to understand. Give me high five. OK, one thing. I like learning how you know, their language um, their language sort of sounded like our language today. Yeah. yeah. That was really cool, that there are so many similar words. Absolutely. So when we respect and value others, we can learn that, you know, sometimes we're not really all that different. We do have a lot in common. I like listening to what other people did as their tradition for Thanksgiving. Yes, that was fun. I think I'm going to be going to some people's houses here. Okay, one thing, real quick. Um, how the Native Americans improvise, improvised with the symbols. Absolutely. One thing. I like learning of how Native Americans, how they spell like different words, like a possum. It started with the A, instead of the O for us. Mm -hmm. Similarities, right? And differences. I like learning about the drum circles, like what country they came from. Yes. Right. You know, it's not just Africa that has drums, but like India, India, China, 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 Native yeah. Americans, Japanese. Japanese, very good. I liked learning um, about the language of the Native Americans and how they have a big similarity to us Americans. Very good. One thing. I like I like learning about the Native Americans' different culture and their languages since they didn't know, they didn't have an alphabet. Very good. Yes. I liked learning about how all, 
how much um, Native American culture affects us today. Oh, wow. Yeah. Big effect on us today. I like learning about the um, different shapes of the states, how they drew them. Mm hmm. Because they weren't that precise. That's why I made a mistake when I was trying to match them. Okay, so now you understand that, hey, we, we, we both can make mistakes, but we can also learn from our mistakes, yes? Very, very good. So the word is, we have one more hand. I like learning about like, the different um, like drawings instead of like, saying to like drawings. Very good. So we learned a lot today, but the essential, the fundamental of what it is we're talking about is respect. And developing a habit of respect or a behavior of respect to everyone is very, very important. If we don't have respect for each other, respect for ourselves, respect for differences, we're going to end up with chaos. Okay? We're going to end up with a dog-eat-dog -dog world. All right? So it's a very important character trait. So how many of you are going to make up in your minds that we are going to respect others and value others? regardless of what we might think we know or don't know. We all are. Give me a high five and say bye to the camera. High five. Bye. Bye.